Good evening, everyone, to this regular meeting of the Waterbury Board of Education for Thursday, March 18th, 2021. This meeting is a virtual meeting via Zoom technology. The first agenda item is a silent prayer, and hopefully the lead us in. Dr. Ruffin, do you have any uh, one that you want to recognize during this portion? I do, Commissioner. Thank you. Yep. During our moment of silence this evening, um, let us remember former members of the Waterbury Public Schools Education Community who have passed away. Gloria DeVito, former Board of Education member many years ago, passed away on February 13th. Michael Canby, foreman for the Connecticut Masons working on the Wendell Cross Project, passed away on February 18th. Nicholas Paragini, former elementary school teacher, passed away on February 18th. Raymond Imans, retired technical education teacher at Crosby High School for 35 years, passed away on February 20th. John Cronin Jr., bus driver for Durham Services for 13 years, passed away on February 24th. Diane McManus, retired school secretary at Wallace Middle School for 20 years, passed away on March 13th. Let us remember and recognize the service, dedication, and passion both to the students of Waterbury Public Schools and those they cared for this evening. Thank you. Our next agenda item is the Pledge of Allegiance. And because he's got the New York Yankees background there, I would like Commissioner Tom Van Stone to lead us into our uh, into our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Thank you, sir. Will we'll do. Thank you for the privilege. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America, States of America. And, and, and to the Republic for which, which it stands, one nation, one nation under, under God, 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 under God indivisible, 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 with liberty and, and justice for all. For all. Thank you, Commissioner Van Stone. Um, our next agenda item is the infamous roll call. And Margaret Cherubini, you're on. <laughs> Commissioner Brown. Vice President Harvey. Here. Commissioner Hernandez. <laughs> Commissioner Nardozzi. Here. Commissioner Orso. Here. Commissioner Serrano Adorno. Here. Commissioner Stango. Here. Commissioner Sweeney. Here. Commissioner Tom Vanstone. Present. President Pagano. I am present also. Okay. Thank you very much, Margaret. Thank you. Um, our next agenda item is number four, communications. Commissioner Sweeney, can you tee us up? Motion to receive and place on file communications as listed. I have a second. Thank you. Uh, discussion or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you, everyone. Our next agenda item, there is no public address to the board tonight because there are no speakers on the tap. So we now move on to item number six, the superintendent's announcements. Dr. Ruffin, the floor is yours. Um, good evening, commissioners. Uh, we start off with this very special presentation in honor of all of you, commissioners, for your tireless efforts and your service. Well, can we get some volume here? Thank you for everything you have done. Happy Board of Education Month. Gracias por todo lo que han hecho este 
Yeah. This is a message to the VOE. I'm not just saying thank you, but that I appreciate those in which I think it's the time to volunteer. Well, in the sit and listen with both bids while being taken in as a member of the board to speak upon us being able to prosper mm. in terms of learning and having a clear vision to lead while having a need of having a voice because you all have to lead in exactly what it is that you want guaranteed. So thank you for your fellow leadership in which you all have never lacked to succeed. This is sent to all of our commissioners in appreciation from, uh, from our students, from our staff, uh, for all of the work that you do tirelessly as you volunteer and you serve on the Board of Education. So on behalf of uh, all of my staff and all of the students and, and staff here in Waterbury, my senior cabinet who are also on this meeting, we thank you for your strong support and we thank you for everything that you do tirelessly on behalf of children. Happy School Board's Appreciation Month. Thank you very thank you. much. Thanks everyone. I have uh, thank you very several. Much several things to, uh, to share with you tonight in, in, in celebration. And, uh, and so I, um, I, I want to first start off by introducing a very special member of our, our staff who has joined us at Crosby High School. And uh, he is here this, this evening. Um, and, uh, Mr. Mosley has accepted the interim position as the assistant principal of Crosby High School. And very importantly to, to us all is the the leadership role for the early college high school. In this very short time that he's been with us, he's made a difference for the students at early college high and as well as the, uh, the uh, first cohort of students there. And in preparation for our second cohort, which will begin in the fall of 2021. And so I've asked Mr. Mosley to be here this evening to personally introduce him to all of you and, uh, and ask if he has a few words as he has uh, just started his new work, Mr. Mosley. Thank you, uh, President Pagano, Vice President Harvey, Commissioners, Dr. Ruffin, esteemed colleagues, families, and friends. I, I thank you uh, for this opportunity, Dr. Ruffin and the board to serve in this capacity. Uh, as many of you all know, I'm born and raised in Waterbury. And more importantly, I'm a product of Waterbury Public Schools. And I truly believe in the ability for Waterbury Public Schools to set to set students up for success and to create leaders for the future. We have an opportunity for our Waterbury Public School students and their families, for them to have the opportunity to not only earn a high school diploma, but an associate's degree concurrently through our early college high school program. As Dr. Ruffin has explained, we are currently uh, in the middle of our first cohort of about 20 students. We're looking next year at having another cohort of about 40 students through our partnership with Post University. And we are anxious to welcome our incoming students. And we're also anxious to prepare them for career strands in areas such as marketing, legal studies, accounting, criminal justice, management in early childhood education. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the numerous mentors that I've had over my professional career, as well as my academic career. One of them in particular, I wanna to recognize tonight, Ms. Jade Gopi for the past six or seven years has you know, provided me with guidance and leadership. She's been a tremendous role model as an administrator in this district. And I really look up to her as someone who I've modeled my career after. I also like to thank the Crosby leadership team, Ms. Kathy Newmark, Mr. Sal Valero, Ms. Melissa Richardson for welcoming, with welcoming me with open arms and supporting me through my transition. I'd like to thank the early college high school staff and the Crosby staff for their continued support. I'd like to thank the families of Crosby High School, but most importantly, I'd like to thank the students of Crosby High School. And it, it's been a pleasure and an honor serving them as a capacity, in the capacity of a teacher and department chair for the past six years. 
And it's in an even more joyous capacity to serve as a building administrator at Crosby High School. I also like to especially recognize Dr. Janice Epperson for her continued support in my professional development, as well as support of our early college high school program. And I also like to especially thank Post University in the city of Waterbury for its uh, tremendous foresight in creating such a dynamic program. Our parents, and our students are excited about this program. We had an assembly last week where we have, have boasted even more excitement and I have tremendous op, op, uh, optimism for this program. So again, uh, I just wanna say uh, thank you, Dr. Ruffin, thank you to the board and thank you to the Waterbury community. I also, if I may like to introduce my wife, attorney Aza Mosley at this time. Good evening. Hello there. And so again, uh, we thank you all. We're looking forward to working more closely with the Waterway Public School families and students. Sean, thank you very much. Glad you're part of it. Thank you. Thank Doctor, you. Anybody have questions for Sean? Uh, Commissioner Tom Van Stone, I see your hand raised. Well, I'm not sure it's a question. Um, Attorney Mosley. I, I'm, I'm so proud of you. Um, you know, you were one of the first teachers I met along my path uh, on this Board of Ed. Um, and, you know, I truly believe you and I hit it off real, real quick. Um, I'm really proud of you. And I'm, I'm just, I want everyone to know that um, you've done so well. Um, I hope you stick around. Uh, I know uh, probably opportunities will come left and right for you, uh, but you are absolutely um, one of our diamonds. And uh, I appreciate what you bring. Um, you know, you, you go back even with my son on a charter revision. So um, I, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Any other uh, comments or questions for... Uh... Mr. Mosley, Commissioner Karen Harvey, I see your hand raised. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, Sean Mosley, um, you know, I, I'm just so happy for you. Um, opportunities have come your way already, all right? And um, I'm so glad uh, that we, uh, you know, this opportunity is there for you. I know you're going to take it and fly with it. Um, I say hello to your wife. Um, happy to be see her again. But um, if there's anything that I can help you with, any type of support you need, you know how to reach me. So congratulations, Sean. Thank, Thank you, Matt. Commissioner Thank you. Harvey. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else have any comments? Sean, I just want to tee off my congratulations on how proud I am of you. I've known you many years. I've known your dad a lot longer. You've got a good lineage and a great stock there. So please uh, continue that legacy. You have our support and just yell if we can help for it, help you. Thank you, Mr. President. You're quite welcome. Yay. All right, Dr. Ruffin, we're back to your floor. Doctor, you're you're muted. Oh, I bet people would want to do that to me often. Waterbury Public Schools welcomes students back for a full day of instruction on Monday. We welcome our students back uh, for a full day, and the students learn in person, and will continue to do so following appropriate safety protocols, such such as hand washing, physical distancing, and wearing masks. We are incredibly proud of our staff and their tremendous efforts in providing a safe and healthy learning environment for our students. And as our central office staff and myself were able to visit the schools uh, on Monday, uh, it was really wonderful to see students and slightly more students coming back in person. And we hope that that will continue to increase, especially as the safety protocols continue to be announced across the state. Uh, 
I think I have to do one more thing to get my slides moving here. Waterbury also marked another fun-filled Read Across America Day, celebrating the joys of reading and encouraging our students to read more. The staff and students dressed up as their favorite characters in person and virtually. Uh, enjoy the following images of some of our students and our staff. And I'm very pleased that I had an opportunity to read virtually uh, for, to our students. It was really fun for me as well. Gear Up Swag Bag Giveaway. The Gear Up program uh, arranged for each of its eighth grade students to receive a swag bag, which included a drawstring backpack, uh, the novel Ghost Boys, a set of earbuds, a face mask, daily planner, and a college playbook. Uh, the pictures here from left to right, uh, Westside Principal Pete McCaslin, eighth grader Irvin Rivera, and House Principal Michael Verano. Waterbury Public School students also win College Board Opportunity Scholarships. We're so proud of them. Uh, we, uh, the students have been awarded College Board Opportunity Scholarships. It's a program dedicated to guiding students through the college planning proce process. Congratulations to the students from Kennedy High School, uh, Althea uh, Aduko, and Mensur uh, Abovic. Uh, we are also proud of Waterbury Arts Magnets School student Celine Onur and Waterbury Career Academy Aaron Ozen and Sarah Barraza. Waterbury Career Academy student was awarded $20,000 in scholarship. Uh, we congratulate Al Alan Rydell Morello, who is a senior at WCA. He won the Coca-Cola Scholars Foundation Scholarship. It's a $20,000 scholarship over four years. There were 100,000 applicants across the country and they select winners in different districts. 25 were chosen from Connecticut to interview and they narrowed it down to three finalists and our very own student, Alan, won. Congratulations, Alan. This concludes my announcements so far today. And uh, thank you very much, commissioners, for all that you do. Thank you, Dr. Ruffin. And uh, my comments are as brief as I can be. I wanted to congratulate all my commissioners on this Board of Education Appreciation Month. And uh, thank you for being part of this team. Thank you for your commitment. And most of all, thanks for supporting me as I got my teeth wet in this job. I thank you very much. Our next agenda item is our student representatives. Liani Diaz, welcome. Do you have anything you'd like to pass on as a comment? Hi, um, I just wanted to say that um, a lot of the people in my school have been adjusting really well to the full day in school. Um, there have been questions uh, regarding if there's gonna be any developments in after school programs, field trips for the near future. Um, graduation and prom, especially for seniors. Personally, I, uh, as a junior, I really hope that the seniors get to have their graduation and their prom because they worked really hard for that. And I hope to have that for my senior year next year. So those are just a few of the concerns. Well, thank you very much for sharing. Student Representative Mateo Macias, I see your, uh, your, your picture there. Would you like to pass on any comments to the board? Uh, yeah, uh, Leonie took a lot of mine. Um, no, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Um, sorry, my camera's not working. Uh, but yeah, I think right now, uh, I can speak for the seniors and saying that the graduation is probably one of the things we're really hoping to get to do this year. Um, you know, we don't care if it has to be like outside or anything. Um, I don't know. It's just something we're all looking forward to and hopefully we can get to that point. Um, and I would also just like to say, uh, I've been on the Board of Education as student representative for the last, last year and this year. And so this is my last year. And I'd like to say thank you all of you for letting me do this. Well, I think I speak for the board and we thank you for being part of this and, uh, and thank you for your involvement and your commitment to helping it get better. So round of applause. I see everybody giving you an applause. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Our next item is the consent calendar. Question, does anyone wish to remove an item from the consent calendar? I don't see anybody waving, so I will go on and delineate that consent calendar. Item 9.1, a request approval of a student teacher practicum affiliation agreement with alternate route to teacher certification or otherwise known as ARC for alternate route to certification student practicum placement program. Item 9.2, request approval of a professional services agreement with Family and Children's Aid Incorporated to provide consulting services under the School Readiness Quality Enhancement Grant. Item number 9.3, request approval of an agreement with Waterford Country School, Inc. to provide special education services to students. Item number 9.4, request approval of a student intern affiliation agreement with Southern Connecticut State University for social work student internships. Items number 9.5 and 9.6 are pretty well close. 9.5 is request approval to apply for the CSDE Career and Technical Education Secondary Special Populations Recruitment and Retention Grant. Item number 9.6 similarly is request approval to apply for the CSDE Promoting Financial Literacy in the Middle School Statewide Grant for 2021. It's important to note that this, both projects reflect an intention on the part of the district to sustain both projects after the grant period ends for each of the two CTE grants. Number 9.7, request approval of a construction contract with SK Mechanical LLC for the Walsh Middle School Boiler Replacement Project. Mm -hmm. Number 9.8, request approval of amendment number one to the agreement with Stanley Convergent Security Solutions Incorporated. Number 9.9, request approval of revised policy 4000.1, title nine, parentheses staff, Number 9.10, request approval of a new policy 5145.44, Title IX, parentheses, students. I would like to get a, a motion to approve this consent calendar. I make a motion uh, to approve the consent calendar items 9.1 through 9.10. Second. Second. Thank you very much. Uh, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. We move on to the next item. Uh, number 11, Commissioner on Finance, Commissioner Rocco Orso, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. 11.1, .1, request approval of a construction contract with Creative Recreation LLC to provide playscape equipment and installation for one lacrosse project. Thank you. Second. Thank you. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Orso. Uh, yeah. Item number 12. Uh, I got 11. 11. He has 11. Oh, you got another one? I'm sorry. 11.2. Yeah. Request approval of contract with Connecticut Communications, LLC, for voice over IP equipment and service. Second. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? I, any discussion, I should say. I'm getting out of whack here. Any discussion, thoughts, comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioner Orso. Thank you, Mr. President. Item number 12, Commissioner Ann Sweeney, the floor is yours. Motion to approve final plans form SCG-042 for the Generali Roof Project. Second. Thank you. Uh, discussion, comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstain? 
Motion carries. Thank you very much, Commissioner Ann Sweeney. Commissioner Karen Harvey, the floor is yours for item number 13. Thank you very much, Mr. President, Committee of the Whole. Item 13.1, request approval of the collective bargaining agreement with the school crossing guards for the period of July 1st, 2020 through June 30th, 2023. Respectfully submit it, so move. Second. Thank you very much. Discussion, comments. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, aye. abstain. Motion carries. Thank you, everyone. Uh, in the um, in, in our document is the superintendent's notification to the board. Motion to receive and place on file superintendent's notification to the board. Items 14.1 through 14.8. Uh, Second. Second. Discussion? I see Commissioner Van Stone's hand waving. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, through you. Just want a little clarification. We um, There's two um, grant-funded appointments. One is for uh, the uh, yeshiva, and one is for Holy Cross. Um, just wanted the explanation of what grant that comes from. And, um, you know, and, of course, because we're, you know, sending our people out to other avenues, which I understand happens. Uh, just want to understand what grant that was uh, being supported by. I'm going to ask um, Ms. Um, Beagle if she could uh, speak to that. Yeah, uh, that would be Title I, Commissioner. Okay. And I know we support other schools with our different grants. In this case, I just wasn't sure what. So thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Commissioner Van Stone. Any other questions or comments? I don't see any other ones. Um, section 15, any unfinished business of preceding meeting only? I don't recollect and I don't see anybody's hand. So, uh, Commissioner we uh, Ann Sweeney? Must, we need to take a vote on the receiving place of file. That's right. Oh, I'm For sorry. For the communications, yes. yeah. yeah. Okay, we need to take a vote to place on file. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Motion carries, and thank you for covering my back, Commissioner Ann Sweeney. Old age. Time, sir. Um, the uh, next agenda item is number 15, and that, I believe, was for un un unfinished business of the preceding meeting only. I don't recollect any, so I don't see anybody's hand countering my recollection, so thank you. Any other, number 16, any other unfinished new or miscellaneous business? Okie dokie, we'll, we'll move on as no one has got any other things. And Commissioner Sweeney, would you do the honors? We're going into executive session. Mm -hmm. Motion to convene an executive session for discussion concerning the appointment, employment, performance, evaluation, health, or dismissal of a public officer or employee in regards to Reed Principal. Second. Thank you. Thank you. Any discussion? All in flavor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We are going into executive session. Motion to return from executive session to the regular order of business. No votes were taken. Second. Discussion? Comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Abstain? Thank you. May I have a motion to adjourn, please? Motion to adjourn. Thank Second. You. Thank you. Anybody want to discuss it or talk about it at length? <laughs> All right. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Everyone, thank you for being here.
Liani, thank you for being here. You stuck it out the entire run. So thank you, dear. <laughs> thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye, All right, guys. Thank you. Will, what's what's your cat's you. name, Will? Can I...